Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. This will be good afternoon by the time it, get po it gets posted. Um, I had a doctor's appointment today, so I couldn't really shoot videos this morning. Um, okay, so I got asked a question that was really, really cool. Um, and I'm trying to find it. Uh, it was basically like, what would I recommend for people who are just starting their art practice and stuff like where to go to get information um okay oh god youtube has a lot of really great artists that go through the basics and beginnings of drawing and sketching anything that shows you how to do like basic basic perspective like one point perspective with you know cubes in space all that kind of stuff drawing objects and shapes is always something that i would definitely suggest for people like even if you're just drawing balls on a page or you're drawing cubes or rectangles and then you can just turn them into 3D prisms, just remember all the verticals will be the same, like one and then whatever diagonals they have, like those will kind of all be the same for an isometric drawing and oh god that's like uh, isometric drawings are basically drawings that don't have perspective points. They're very much on a grid. And if you look up isometric paper, you'll see that it's just like this gridded paper um, that has very specific lines to it and everything. Like if you draw isometrically, you're not worrying about perspective lines. It's a really great paper to grab um, if you're trying to learn how to draw because you can just like, okay, if I do this with these lines, I can build a cube, or I can build, say, a cylinder and an ellipse, because the tops of squares are all ellipses. Anyways, so yeah, I definitely just suggest drawing basic shapes. And fill your sketchbook with like, or a few pages of your sketchbook with basic shapes. And then try and take those basic shapes and build them. So here we have a cylinder. Well, try and build them into objects, okay? So you're going to have tapered lines here, and then I'm actually going to choke that up a bit. But if you try and draw objects out of basic shapes, it's a lot easier to get them down because you're using the foundations. Foundation drawing is basic shape drawing, and then line quality. That comes in after. Like, shading and line quality are kind of like two different things, or they're kind of the same thing and different things all at once. So you can shade, we'll say, we'll just get this, we'll get a bowl going here. So by using this bowl, basically you can take the bowl and you can choose where the light is coming from. Um, and then you can make the lines on the opposite side. So here's my light source. The lines on the side that are gonna be dark are gonna be thicker. And then the lines that are facing the light are gonna be very, very thin. Why? Because the light is basically taking away the shadow. So then under here is gonna be, and then you're gonna have the shadow. There is perspective ways to draw shadow and like figure out, okay, here's my light source, so here's this, and then that's gonna go there. And then you can do out this whole grid thing and it's just, you're just beginning, don't worry about that. And then you can also do hatch lines. So hatch lines are just lines that are run parallel um, to give a little bit of shading. And like there would be some here because this is the opposite wall, the light isn't directly above. So yeah, and then you can change the direction of the hatch lines to make thicker hatch lines and then bring them out so that they're a bit thinner. And like basically when you're building hatch lines, you're just running lines parallel to one another in a crisscross pattern so that you can build up tones and shades. <sighs> Okay. 
anyway, so, bull, essentially, right? But basically, yeah, practice-wise, I always say, when keep a sketchbook, draw daily, look at objects and try and draw those objects. If you draw a pen a hundred times over, by the end of it, you're gonna draw a pen pretty well. Try practicing drawing straight lines, right? Lock your elbow and your wrist and just use like your shoulder to draw or pivot at the elbow. But lock your wrist. It'll actually give you more control. Yeah, I do a lot of this kind of stuff, but that's just me. Um, but when I am trying to draw straight lines, I always lock my wrist in place and I use pull from my, my shoulder. It gives you more control. And then the same thing can be said for doing ellipses. You can do like a ghost pass and then you can put your pencil down. Again, you wanna draw lightly. Drawing light um, will give yourself like some basic I have a talking dog in the background. <laughs> Drawing lightly, um, if you're not carving into the paper, essentially you're gonna be able to build a sketch more. Uh, drawing a ballpoint pen is really helpful. If you're a little bit afraid of ballpoint pen, that's okay, you can use a pencil. Don't worry about making mistakes. If you draw the line and it's wrong, draw the line again, but make it better. The more you erase, the more you are likely to repeat the lines that you don't like. And this is one of the first lessons that one of my favorite art teachers taught me, and it's do not use an eraser. Draw the line if it's wrong, draw the line again. If that's wrong, keep drawing that line until you have the right line. Use the eraser to pull back the lines you don't like, and then make a good pass. Keep it light, keep it loose. You can tighten up things later. That's what I find a lot with beginning artists is they do not keep their drawings loose. They're trying to carve into the paper and make perfect lines. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. Always try and work, um, yeah, just always try and work loosely and lightly, and then you can build up your drawing and you'll save your paper from erasing because you can erase your paper so much you actually make a hole in it, which is not good for anything. And then you ruin the paper on the back. And draw on both sides of the paper. You've got a sketchbook, use every single page in it. That is like one of the best like tips I can give you is I've wasted so many sketchbooks when I was younger because I wasn't drawing on every single page. But you know what? Now I can go back and like do upgraded drawings on it, so that's kind of neat. But if you want to have a sketchbook for good art and finished pieces, keep that separate. But always have a sketchbook that you can do practice in, sketches, loose sketching, crap drawings, because you're going to make a lot of crap drawings. I've made a ton of crap drawings. But those are the things that you really, really want to um, look at, is just getting used to the pencil, making um, objects out of basic shapes. You can more complex objects, you can use squares and you can taper those squares and then you can, I'm doing a jar, <laughs> it's not really that advanced, but these basic shapes that we have, use them to your advantage. If you're looking at something, try and figure out what that basic shape is and build that drawing or build that object from its basic shapes. They teach people this in concept art and it's one of the greatest tools that you'll have as an artist is to understand the basic shape of something and then try and build it from the like building blocks up. The other things is again you can find amazing tutorials on YouTube. There are great channels. I will try and find some of them and post it in the like edit make an edit on the comments of this video or not in the comments but in the um, description box when I find some for you guys. The fourth one is really good reference books. Um, if you're interested in human anatomy, the Michael Hampton book for figure drawing, I there is a link uh, to the PDF file of that book. Any of the books by Andrew Loomis, I've mentioned him numerous times. And if you're interested in painting, uh, it is Light and Color by James Gurney. And it is one of the most amazing books. It is a heavy read, but it will give you all of the information you need. Uh, yeah, and then the last tip is just don't give up keep drawing. You're going to draw bad drawings. You're going to draw tons of bad drawings, but eventually you are going to make a good drawing and you're going to be so proud of that good drawing because you did all the crappy drawings. So those are my five tips-ish. <laughs> um, 
yeah if you guys have any questions or comments please leave it in the comment section below uh, I will try and get those links all posted and um, I might do a specific video on YouTube channels that are good for artists but this was just kind of an overall video of all of the basic shapes and like drawing and stuff like that um, <laughs> yeah so everyone have a great day and I'll chat at you later bye bye